morning. Out again. Fortunately today there's no rain, which is really, really good. And we've come down to a place called the Weaver Dam, um, just on the outer edge of Frodjum, um, on the northwest coast of the UK. Um, it's a place I've wanted to come for a while because I really wanted to capture the, uh, the dam uh, with the water going over the top. So I've managed to really precariously get myself down here um, on a very awkward little plinth having come through the, uh, the tall grass behind me. There is no path. Um, there is now. I've just created one. Um, so I've been here for a while. There's no chance whatsoever of any... Uh, sunrise this morning um, had there have been a sunrise it would have lit this up according to the app uh, the dam was in perfect line for uh, a sunset this morning um, unfortunately that's not going to happen but nevertheless I'm out it's early and uh, we've got some interesting water to take some uh, photographs of so that's what I'm doing but, uh, there's very little in the way of a path here. I did climb down that precarious little thin wall there, which was quite fun because it's quite a drop into the water on the other side. But hey ho, we gave it a go and uh, I've still got to get back. I won't be filming that, I'll be too busy not falling in. Right now though, we'll have a look at uh, taking a shot and uh, we'll see what we get when I come back. All right, well, I think uh, I've got the picture. Um, quite disappointed, to be honest. Um, nowhere to uh, nowhere to get a composition. Nowhere to stand that was 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 safe. Uh, everywhere was too precarious this morning. Um, the locations I'd like to get to are all gated off, so you just actually can't get over. I'm not not really sure I can climb some of these fences, so. Um, I managed to get myself down to a very small plinth, very risky plinth, I must admit. Uh, there's a, it's quite dangerous, to be honest, and uh, it's the one shot that I've been able to get. I think there's one more location I might try, uh, which I spotted as I was uh, when I first arrived. Um, but that was very, very a, it was a straight shot, so I couldn't shoot across the dam. It was along the dam, so I'm going to go and give that a little go now. Um, uh, could have been so much nicer if we've had the sun. Uh, I might come back, not sure yet. We'll see how these pictures turn out and how I feel about uh, climbing back down and over all the obstacles I've just climbed over. So uh, we'll have another look up in a little while. Back in a bit. One thing to point out, um, it looks almost like you can walk along the, the edge of the river here, uh, the water edge, but uh, what you're actually looking at is a mat of um, dead, dead reeds, and it's, it's, it's almost like uh, stepping or standing on a mattress. However, uh, should you go through that, I'm pretty sure you'll get wet up to your chest. So uh, if you ever come across uh, banks of rivers where you see the matting like this, be very, very careful not to uh, assume it's solid ground and jump onto it because more often than not you'll be getting soaking wet uh, but that's one to watch out for did want to get to that set of rocks there but there's no way I'm going to get there it's just far too dangerous and uh, I'm, I'm down here on my own so if anything was to happen um, I'd be in a, in a bad position so I'm not going to risk it the dam's looking really nice with the water flowing over there so hopefully we've got something to uh, look at when we go back on the computer later on. But uh, other than that, we'll uh, head on out now and climb through all these reeds. I've got to be very careful because there's a lot of bramble in here as well. And of course the bramble just drags you down. But uh, very picturesque, very nice. Oh, that is a bramble digging into my thigh. So if we get through here. Not, it, it's only 10 foot down, Ow. but it's painful 10 foot down. So we'll have a, we'll have a wander back through uh, the brambles. So this is what I was talking about, the brambles, because they cut across the path. 
um, they don't half dig into your legs. And of course, they do love to uh, fence everywhere off. Okay. They really do love to fence you out of these places nowadays. And I would really like to have walked across the gantry to the other side and got a much nicer picture. So, coming this side, a lot more open here. So I'm gonna probably get a shot from here. Might include the, uh, the lone tree, why not? It's there. And uh, the rest of it is being reclaimed for some reason. I don't know what they're doing, but the rest of it is dumping ground to hardcore. So there's nothing much here to take a picture of. So if you do come here, your expectations are pretty much uh, just the weir. And they call it they call it the Weaver Dam, but uh, it's really just a weir. So come back down on the other side. Wind's picked up a little bit. It's a little bit cold now. Um, currently running a long exposure uh, against the, against the uh, the water flow. See what we can get from that. And uh, it's a little bit safer this side, but uh, a lot closer to the to the weir. Be cracking place in there. The sun was out. Oh, if the sun was out. Ironically, there is a break in the cloud, and you can actually, possibly on the camera, pick up some of the pink. There is a pink glow to those clouds because the sun is obviously still rising. It's still above the clouds, and it is casting that wonderful pink, interesting colour. Um, it's not going to work on the shots I'm taking of the dam because directly behind the dam is is a bank. Uh, and that bank is, is full of trees, so uh, not really giving me a great deal there. But, uh, nevertheless, still enjoying it. But not many shots to be had here, unless you can get across to the other side, but that's farmer's fields, and I'm not sure if you've got a public right of access over there. I suppose you could just try and see what happens. But it's getting there, that's the difficult point. It's, uh, it's a long way around to the other side of this, uh, this river weaver. So, an awful long way around. But never mind. We'll go and have a look and see how our uh, exposure is doing. Well, sat there for a while, quite a few minutes. And hopefully you can see on the uh, back of the camera display there, the results of a long exposure. I'm really quite pleased with that, to be fair. Might not be technically perfect, but uh, it's certainly an interesting picture and I'm very pleased that I've been able to capture that. Uh, that was over four minutes exposure, which is why the, the water is so milky, uh, silky smooth. And uh, I, I really, really like that. Well done me, I think. Oh, that was a cracking little uh, shot there. Cracking little place. I'm just going to have a walk around the right hand side here to see whether I can, uh, this thing would behave itself. All the stuff you're carrying, man, it's not easy. gonna have a walk down the other side I know I can't get across there might be another composition this side which is what I'm hoping for oh dear yeah, it'd be cracking place if the sun was out really would just awkward to get to quite awkward a bit marshy a bit sludgy so no 
there's nothing catching my eye on this side oh i'll go for a high point oh. yeah not really a great composition from over here nothing that's catching my eye so there isn't any interesting trees that stand out against the backdrop of the others there's very little happening in the river weaver which is feeding the weir i'll just flip you around so i'm stood on one of these pile of rocks to get a little bit of a, a vantage point but uh there's a river weaver there uh very drab at the moment because there's no interest in the sky at the at that level above the trees and then a bland hillock and of course the dreaded electrical cables and then the head to the to the weaver dam with the sluice gates on the left hand side which are not open right now because the levels aren't high enough and cheshire plains towards frodjum that's uh, frodjum hill there in the background just on the well if i just move a little bit further around uh dead center top bird that's the, the bluff of uh, Frodrum Hill, where I will be going this morning. Uh, right now though, I'm going to hike back down this lane, climb over the gate, because it's locked, and uh, head back up towards the car. So I'm going to put you guys down while I do this precarious walk over all this bloody stuff. See you in a little while. Right, we're back to the car. Cup of coffee. And that was the uh, River Weaver Dam. And uh, I think from the pictures I've got, I think there's one I was definitely really pleased with, and that was one of the long exposures. Absolutely love long exposures. Uh, very precarious place. Um, if you're local, you'll know of it. If you're local, take care when you're there. Um, there is some dangers there, um, especially around the, the marshy edges of the, the water. Uh, they appear to be um, solid surfaces, they're not. Uh, they're floating reeds and if you do stand on the good chance you'll be wet to the chest if not further. Um, I didn't risk it. Uh, I found myself a curious plinth and set up there with a tripod to get a couple of pictures. Not the composition I wanted, I wanted to get to the other side but that's farmer's field. Um, what I might do is pop into the farm and uh, introduce myself to the farmer. You never know, just by saying hello and what you're doing, they might say, by all means, stroll across my land and go and take your pictures. So I might give that a go, not today, um, but certainly when we see some decent weather coming and we've got a promise of some nice, uh, either a sunrise in the morning or a sunset in the evening, I think against the backdrop of the dam with the water flowing over it, might make for an interesting picture. So that's one that I've marked down in the app and uh, uh, one for me to revisit, certainly. Um, the next one now, I think I've got two more to do this morning, two places. Because the weather was so bad, I knew I wasn't going to be able to go very far, so I've, I've kept it local. Uh, all these locations are seven miles from where I live, so it's, it's no hardship just to pop up here. Uh, the next one is the Frodium Caves. Now, I've seen pictures on the internet doesn't seem to be a great deal there other than a couple of caves um, so I'm going to go and have a look and at least I've been there maybe take a shot or two and mark it down for future visits and Frodrum Hill we'll go to the top of the Frodrum Hill where there is easy access there's parking very very close to a um, footpath that leads up to the war memorial so we're going to go and have a little walk up there and the clouds are totally greyed out so it's all washed out so there'll be no uh, landscape shots across the Mersey estuary uh, if there are they'll be black and white so uh, we'll go and have a look at that and uh, we'll take it from there right now finish me coffee and then uh, fire up the motor and have a little drive over there I'll see you in a little while cheers bye <laughs> 